What's up? In this video, I will show you how to use the tree view in JavaFX. And let's get started. Let's open our IDE. And so here I'm going to show you the basics, uh, the basics of creating the tree view in JavaFX. So first of all, I'm going to create a layout. So I'm going to use the VBox layout. VBox layout equals new VBox and the scene. So I'm going to uh, declare scene here, scene plus new scene, and I'm going to uh, pass in the layout object here and declare the state scene scene size, All right? And what to do next is to declare or to call this page. So I'm going to call the stage and set the scene. So scene and call the stage again and set the stage title to JavaFX tree view and finally uh, stage that show all right so we're not done yet <laughs> okay so I'm going to create an, a tree item first this is gonna be our root item so tree item string because we are working with strings and this is going to be the root and new tree item okay so i'm going to name our three item to root all right and i'm going to make uh, i'm going to create a tree view tree view and string again and this is going to be tree view equals new tree view and pass in the root item here and tree view that set show root to true all right so i'm going to create another items here using a tree item so these are gonna be the branch branch item branches or branches so this is going to be branch one branch one and branch one as well and i'm going to copy this paste it below and this is going to be branch two all right so i'm going to make another one All right, these are the leaves. Okay, leaf one. Oops, leaf two. Let me copy leaves to save time. Three and four. Okay. All right, so this is maybe three and four. So to add these items to our root, we need to call and add this, these children's to our root. So I'm gonna make this uh, branch to add in a root node in a in a root item. Root that get children that add all and call the branch one and two. Branch one and two. Okay and as well as the leaves, the leaf one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to call the branch one, branch one that get children that add all, and these are the leaf one and leaf two, as well as the branch two. Okay, and let me rename this to three, and four all right so i'm going to pass in the preview here to our layout preview okay and let's try to run this uh simple application to see what that looks like 
All right, here we go. And this is our root item. If I'm going to click this button right here, it will expand the branches and the leaves. All right. That's how you create a tree view in JavaFX. So this is a basic example of creating a tree view in JavaFX. So let's and let's proceed to create uh, a tree view in advanced mode. All right. So let me comment. Excuse me. Let me comment these codes here for our next example. Okay. So I'm going to create a file because we are working with file directories here and file file path equals new new file and let me copy my path here all right and copy okay let me pass in the path here and test. So the test is the test folder that I that I have created earlier recently. And let me proceed to create the root item. So I'm going to create a tree item and string. I'm going to use a string and the root equals uh okay let me create another private method for uh, for creating the three items private three item and string create items okay and i'm gonna add a file parameter here all right and create a tree item three items equals new tree item and file that get name all right let me return return the tree item and What to do next if file that is directory let's uh, create another file here file array of files files equals file that list files and if files does not right, does not null let's proceed to for each for loop let's uh, let's make a for loop here for for each loop we have another file child file or child child items something like that Yeah, files. Okay, and create the tree item. So I'm going to call the tree items object and get children that add all, create items, and child item. Okay, and let's go back here. So I'm going to call the create items method and pass in the file path. All right, and create a tree view. Tree view equals new tree view, and pass in this root item. All right, let's run this application to see what's inside our test folder, and let me run this application now. All right, here we go. So the folder is also called test and it has a bunch of files inside. 
So if I'm going to expand this item here, it will show up the branches and uh, file. So this is another folder inside test folder and this one. So if I'm going to expand this branch here, it will show its leaves. All right, this is the grad PhD, uh, something like that. And as well as the hostman. That's it. So if I'm going to select the item or these items here, we will work on this one and display the item name in our console. So let me go back to our code and call the tree view. Tree view that gets selection model, that selected item property, that add listener and observable uh -huh. let me remove this uh, old value new value i guess that's it and okay so I'm going to declare a string to convert the value string selected item equals new value dot get value and print out the value to our console and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the system out print all in and selected item. All right, let's run the program again. There we go. So if I'm going to click the items, it will show the, it will print out on the console. Test, vibration cover, hostman, read me, what's new. Yes, it's working. So that's it. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And I will see you in the next video.